Like they see me coming and they're like, oh, this fella. What is up? My name's Brad and this is Operation N64. <clears throat> Now, if you're new to the channel, in this series, we're trying to build an N64 collection, starting off with just £10. But using our charity shops, our car boots, our Facebook marketplace, looking for stuff for cheap that we can sell for a profit to build a game fund to buy N64 bangers. <clears throat> now, before we get into this week's episode, let's do the updates to the game fund. And there are none. That's right, guys, for the first time in the 21, 22 weeks, we've sold nothing on eBay. Uh, it's probably down to the fact we don't have a great deal listed. And then the stuff we do have listed, it's like proper slow selling stuff. So this week, we've got to get out there and we've got to find, find, find. We need to find some stuff that we can list to try and resell so we can build that game fund up and start picking up N64 games again. I mean, the game fund isn't too shabby, like, it's not too bad, but we don't want to be going out spending that on N64 games when we have nothing to recoup the money with. So this week, we have a few things to get on with. We need to get out there looking for stuff to list. We've got to trade some stuff in. We've got to get some stuff resurfaced to maybe trade in or sell. And we also have to test that PS2 that we picked up last week and then hopefully stick that on Facebook as like a game and console bundle. So we've got a great deal to get on with. So let's get into it. So guys, I just got back from dropping the kids off back at school first day. Let's go do some game hunting uninterrupted. Uh, let's go. So guys, we are back with another game hunt, another Operation N64. Now it's nice to have the kids back in school as much as we had a great time in the summer holidays. It's nice to have them back into a routine and it obviously frees me up with a bit of time to go out hunting without any sort of interruptions, which is great. <clears throat> So we were back in my favourite place here, it's been super dry recently. There were one or two games which I pulled out to have a look at. Uh, I ended up picking up I think one, one game from here. But I check this place so regularly. Uh, since they stopped letting me out the back, I have to just go in there as often as I can in the hope that they've put stuff out. And I've started looking uh, elsewhere and I had a look at the plushies and they had this really cool, uh, it's called Sonic plushie. Love me a game related plushie. They uh, sell pretty well as well. Um, so yeah, very cool to find that. Um, I sold a Sonic plushie in the past for like 15, 20 quid. So a good little pick up there. Hopefully we can make a little bit of money on that. I then popped down to Port Talbot. I've had luck here in the past as well. It's nice to change the scenery, uh, mix things up a little bit, go to different places. Uh, to do your game hunting and get a bit stale otherwise, a bit stagnant. So yeah, hit, hit, hit Port Talbot for a change. A little box of games here, nothing really of note. I know this Shrek the Third on the Xbox has a little bit of trading, uh, but didn't on the PS2. And this Quest for Sleeping Beauty looked kind of interesting, but it's, uh, it's like a 50 pence game. Uh, a bunch of just uh, nothing titles in here now really. Obviously I always check the Wii cases regardless of what it is, just in case there's a Wii Sports hidden away in there. Uh, always do that guys, always check them, I don't know how many times I've found Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resorts, just hidden in these random uh, Wii, Wii game cases. Also saw this uh, DVD, a brand new and sealed. It's always better to pin, pick things up sealed. I've sold this a couple of times already, so for 99p, I was gonna pick it up. And then they let me out the back. This place this seems to let me out the back quite often. They don't put their games on the shelf. Um, I had a little flick through. They had a, a good stack of games here, but nothing, nothing of note, really. Um, I think I picked one game up from here. They sell them for about between one and two pounds, depending on who's at the till. Um, I think I've had a pound for the game when I, when I picked it up this time round. But uh, you're never too sure. I don't like to take big stacks of games and then put them back when they tell me a price that I'm not happy with. And then we popped to the charity shop just around the corner and they had a few games in here. Never have games. Uh, this Bully, the PS2. Wasn't sure if I owned it already, so I picked it up. Uh, There's still book for Gears of War. Um, they've had a few still books in here, funnily enough, for the past few times that they've had games. Um, so yeah, I had, a little, I had a little look and then I noticed a couple more games on a different shelf. The games are just randomly thrown in in this place. 
Uh, they had Soul Calibur here. Uh, Matrix, but oh, I dropped everything. I remember dropping, it's a bit clumsy this day, I was dropping everything. Uh, Path of Neo and then a Buzz game. Wasn't sure on the prices either. Uh, I did find this box set for Underworld and this Power Rangers plushie, which I dropped as well. <clears throat> so guys, we're just gonna test that PS2 that we picked up in the last episode. Forgive my building site of a home. But let's, uh, let's see if it works. So it's all plugged in crudely and the uh, red light is on there. Let's have a go. Green light's on and it's working. And I've stuck in this serious sand that we picked up earlier. I'll give it a go, see how we get on. They're yeah, looking good though. Oh, everything looking good. Oh yeah. Okay. So another day and we are heading down to see my mate Nicky and on the way I'm going to hit every charity shop of course see what we can find I'm actually buying a game off him not one for Operation N64 just one for the collection and I'm hoping I can maybe get some discs resurfaced we'll see and maybe show you guys the process uh, so let's go so yeah, I was down in Amberfield, I've had lucky in the past also, they have a, a, few, a few charity shops and this place had a nice big selection of games, um, nothing uh, really crazy, Fight Night Champion, what a cracking game that is, uh, but yeah, a few PS3 games here which I pulled out to have a look at, um, I think they charged £2 a game in here, yeah, I think it was £2 a game, a few uh, random PlayStation 2 titles, you know me, I'm a fan of the PlayStation 2, love to pick up these random games, cheap games. Uh, so yeah, I pulled out a few to check out the price on. I'm obviously not going to pay £2 for them if they're not worth £2. Uh, but yeah, a little flick through. It's nice to see an array of games, regardless of whether they have a great deal of value or not. It's just, it's just a nice feeling when you walk in. There's games there. It's not a wasted journey. Uh, that's always a bonus. But yeah, like I said, flick through these games, had a little butchers. And they had a few more up on this shelf as well. Or Polar Express. I like that film. I like that film. Pirates of the Caribbean, Lord of the Rings. Unfortunately, they don't have a great deal of value. The Sonic Heroes as well doesn't have much value either. They had a uh, box of DVDs next to me as well, which I also checked out. And I actually asked, and they had some games at the back. That's why I'm walking away with some Xbox One games, which you didn't see on the shelf. Uh, this charity shop, they price their games generally, uh, and they overpriced them, if I'm honest. A bunch of FIFAs here, a whole bunch of FIFAs. Uh, again, the games get mixed up now and again, so you can't keep looking and, and I'm glad I did because I found this Red Dead Redemption with no price on uh, and he said it was £2, uh, so definitely pick them out for 2 quid. And these Peppa Pig games, I think on the Wii and the DS, they have a little bit of trading, not nothing crazy, but, but something, and if you can get them cheap enough, they're worth picking up. Another Fight Night game here. It's got a fair few Fight Nights on this occasion. And another Spirited Away. This one wasn't sealed, didn't pick it up. It's only got like a pound trade in, they sell it for four quid. Brand new and sealed, it's, it's worth picking up. But opened, I'm, I'm not gonna. And in this charity shop, they had a bunch of games as well. This uh, Super Mario 3D Land was only the case. They wanted a pound for it. Had the manual been in there, I might have picked it up. Uh, if the case was in better nick as well, um, but uh, on this occasion I didn't. Uh, a load of uh, Call of Duties, all the pound these games. Unfortunately, there was nothing to take to of note, <clears throat> and the games were in pr pretty bad nick. If I'm honest, I pulled out a Spider-Man, and the thing looked like it had been chewed. They're not great. A couple PS3 titles as well. I, I just didn't know the value on, so I pulled them out again. If they were uh, if they were worth picking up for a pound or two. I probably would have. A couple of them might have ended up in the collection. I'm hoping one day I'll open one of these cases and find some like absolute banger of a game.
Unfortunately, not this time. So guys, Nicky resurfaced a lot of these discs for me. So we're going to try and take all this stuff in now and do a bit of a trade. Build that CEX credit up a bit. Fingers crossed they take it all. Let's go. Yeah, we popped into CEX in town. Always have a look to see if there's any N64 games. I, I generally check online quite often. So I kind of know when they do or don't. But they did have one N64 game in the window, this WrestleMania. And it was in pretty good nick. Um, I think I should have picked it up regardless. I'm, I'm thinking I might go full set, I don't know, I don't want to jump the gun yet, but I might go full set N64, so I should have picked that up really. So yeah guys, uh, I just done that trade in at CEX and I've got mixed emotions if I'm honest. Now they wouldn't take a couple of things. Now the first thing they wouldn't take is this new Super Mario Bros for the Wii. Uh, my mum paid like 50p for it. Um, it's not such a bad thing because my boy wants to keep one of these. I keep picking them up and selling them and he's like, Daddy, can we keep it? So I'll probably just keep it for the boy. Uh, so yeah, not too, uh, too disheartened about this one. But the DVD player, they wouldn't take the DVD player because she said um, that it should have had a remote control. Now it doesn't say on their website, it doesn't say anywhere that I can see that it requires a remote control and there was no other option like discounted or nothing, there was just the one price for it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that really, uh, maybe it's my fault, maybe I didn't research enough, but I think that they just didn't want to take it and sometimes when I'm in there I feel like they don't want to take anything from me, like they see me come in and they're like, oh, this fella. Um, let's try not to take any, I don't know, like, that's just a feeling I get, I could be just paranoid or whatever, but, but that's definitely what it feels like. But anyway, onwards and upwards, let's go. So yeah, after that kind of failed CEX uh, trading, uh, I popped to some of the charity shops, uh, a few weed games here. Uh, yeah, Batman, Lego Batman one, but uh, it just weren't pick, worth picking up. I think it was pretty scratched, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, checking all the cases as I always do. Always check the DS cases as well, you know, in the hopes that maybe a Pokemon or something or a Mario has been just like put in the wrong case. I've had luck like that before. I think it was one of the earlier episodes of Operation N64. I found Pokemon White uh, in like a Professor Layton game. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a proper score that was. And then this, I didn't pick it up. Uh, this Crystal Maze board game looked proper cool. I, I wish I did pick it up. If the game room was up and running, I probably would have. But at the moment, I'm just piling stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. Uh, then we went to this charity shop, and this is the same as my favourite one, but like another branch. And the price difference is crazy, though. Like they charge £1.50 in my favourite place, and then this one, they price them up. I mean, them sealed Borderland 2s were a fiver in here. I paid £1.50 in the other shop. Yeah, where's the consistency there? You had two Call of Duties, one was £3. One was £1.50. Yeah, I just I'm not sure how they how they come up with these prices. Why would you have two of the same game, a different price? Just this weird. I saw this switch case, brand new switch case. Thought it might be worth picking up. It wasn't. And then this is a new charity shop, and I had found some manuals in here. Manuals, annuals, sorry, in the past. And this Disneyland one from like the seventies was pretty sick. Uh, if this was my sort of thing, I might have picked it up. Uh, very cool to see though. Didn't really have much resale value either, but very cool to see in such good condition for something from 73, I think it was. That's mad. I'm still hoping to find me some like more TMNT ones, uh, some more Master of the Universe ones. Love that, annuals like that. Uh, a couple of Xbox One games here, £2.50 a piece. We had £4 trading, so I didn't bother picking them up. And that friend's box set you see in the background, that's a huge box set. I would expect that to have a little bit more trading than it does. I think it trades in for like three or four quid, which is mad. And then I popped to the recycle center and they had a few like console bundles here uh, and some DS games. Uh, the bundles were priced up, but the DS games were two pound a pop. And there was one or two that I did have a look at, but I didn't end up picking any of them up. I'm gutted because I used to pay a pound a game in here regardless. Um, and then I had a quick look at the toy section, found this really cool Maui plush. <clears throat> and we are back in the game space, and I'm pretty happy with how this week went, to be honest. We found some stuff to try and sell, found some stuff to trade, we traded some stuff in. That PS2 worked, which was fantastic, so that's listed on Facebook Marketplace. Um, the only downside to this week was that DVD player. Um, she wouldn't take it in CEX, said it came with a controller. I'm not too sure. I did a bit of research after I left, couldn't find any on eBay 
at all of this model. Uh, obviously, the one they list on uh, the CEX website doesn't say anything about a controller. See, I, I couldn't find anything that said it did. So I might try it in another CEX, try my luck, why not? What else am I going to do with it? So that's what we're going to do next week. We're going to try that again, try and trade it in again, see if we have luck somewhere else. Uh, but let's get into everything we picked up. So we spent a total of £20.50 this week, so we can deduct that from the game fund. But we also made £43 in trading credit, so we can add that to the CEX fund. Not looking too bad, but do we're making some sales but let's get into everything we picked up <clears throat> so the first thing we picked up was from one of my favorite places it's been a bit dry recently but i found one game in there and it is a sealed copy of borderlands 2 now i've picked up two sealed copies from there already sold them both from around 10 to 15 quid um so yeah Hopefully 10 to 15 pound, paid one pound 50 for it. The next thing we found in the very same place was this Sonic plushie. This thing's actually pretty cool. It's official. Uh, he's really nice to be fair. I cleaned him up real good and he looks perfect, brand new. Um, I paid a pound for it and I think I could sell it for maybe about a tenner. Uh, very cool though. I was tempted to hold on to it. But uh, we need that credit. We need that money. We need to make some cash. We then went to Portalba and did a little bit of hunting there. Bumped into Richard. Good to see you, mate. Always a pleasure. Um, I found just one thing to try and sell there. A couple of things for the collection. But the uh, one thing we're going to try and sell is this brand new sealed uh, Spirited Away. Again, I've sold a couple of copies of this before. Hopefully get about five, six, seven quid maybe. Uh, brand new again. Two sealed things in a row. Not too bad. I then popped down to Ammon Food for the day. I've been around a little bit this week. Popped down there to do a little bit of hunting and then see my boy Nicky. I uh, actually bought a game off him. Uh, not for Operation N64, but I'll show you shortly what that is. And he resurfaced a load of discs for me, which is awesome. Cheers, Nicky. Always appreciate you, mate. It's always good to come in and have a cup of tea and a catch-up. So, yeah, great to see you, mate. Uh, let's get into what I picked up. Um, now, the first charity shop had a ton of games in there. Nothing really of uh, note, but I did pick up one or two. Now, the first game we picked up was this Fight Night Champion. Not a great deal of value. I think it's worth like five quid, three pound trading. But this game is fantastic. If you guys haven't played it, I highly recommend. The story mode on this is awesome. You play as Andre Bishop, uh, down on his luck, framed for something, sent to prison. You're fighting like white supremacist bare knuckle and then you uh come out of prison and you like rebuild your reputation build yourself up end up fighting for the championship it is it is a fantastic story mode highly recommend it uh yeah fight night champion the next thing we picked up was this elvis 68 comeback special um paid two quid for it trades in for five sells for ten a uh, nice little pickup for a quick three pound profit i then asked which you should always do ask if there's any more and he had a bunch of games out the back nothing crazy one of them is actually a fail i'll show you that first it is wwe 2k17 i'm not sure why i picked this up if i'm honest i paid like two quid for it and it's only worth three and they give you like one pound 20 i think trading or 70p so that's a bit of a fail um i might hold on to it maybe if i get a stack of these cheap xbox one games i could just flog them on together and the last one is this riders republic uh now this one's pretty decent they sell it for 18 quid in cx give you i think 12 or 15 can't quite remember i think 12 pound trading uh probably try and sell this on first and if i have no luck then probably trade it in but for two pound not too bad at all I then popped into another charity shop and they normally price their games in there, but these two weren't priced, so they've done them for £2 a pop. Uh, the first one is Peppa Pig the game. I think it trades in for like four or five quid. Um, but yeah, £2 trading for four or five. It's not too bad. And the next one is your faithful Red Dead Redemption. It's a five pound, five or six pound, six pound, I think. Six pound trading, paid two quid. That's a nice triple my money. So yeah, not too bad. I then popped into this funny marketplace that they have, which they never have anything in. But they did. They have games on the table, £2 each. But this is the half price table, so I had it for a pound. And funnily enough, it is NBA 2K16, and it trades in for like three quid. Who would have thought? Not too bad. I then popped to a charity shop literally around the corner. And I don't tend to have much luck in there, but you've got to keep persisting, because eventually you'll find something. And I found a few bits and pieces. Now, the first thing is this Underworld box set. This uh, quadrilogy box set, paid a pound for it, trades in for four quid. I then found this legendary knucklehead and the chaperone, this triple movie collection from WWE Studios. Have no idea if these films are any good, probably not, uh, but it's brand new sealed. Theme of the day is brand new and sealed. So yeah, not too bad. Not really sure how much it's worth. Paid a pound for it uh, because it was sealed and it's WWE I thought it was worth picking up. And then the last thing is, she actually gave it to me for free, is this Gears of War Judgment. 
uh, steel book. It's empty. There's no game in there. So give it to me for free. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm thinking of giving it away. If any of you watching collect steel books and would like this, just reach out to me in the comments and I'll pick someone at random and you can have this. I'll send it out to you. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just an empty steel book of Gears of War Judgment. So yeah, let me know if you guys want it and I'll send it out to someone. Another theme of the day is plushies and I found this Blue Ranger plushie. Um, I paid a pound for it. I'm thinking I might be able to sell it for like 10 quid, maybe somewhere around there. Um, if it was the Black Ranger, I'd definitely be holding on to it. The Black Ranger was my favourite Ranger back in the day. Mastodon. <coughs> you wally. But yeah, but yeah, if it was the Black Ranger, I'd be keeping it. Because it's the blue one, I'm going to try and sell it. Plushies seem to sell pretty well on eBay. So yeah, keep an eye out. So the last pickup I got at the Recycle Centre, I popped there on my lunch break. Uh, they had a few games in there, some consoles and stuff. They've started pricing things up a little bit. But they had a stack of DS games in there for £2 a pop. And they had Cooking Mama and Gardening Mama, which are pretty good pickups to trade in to CEX. But they were the US editions, I believe. So I left them behind. Uh, maybe I should have picked them up to try and resell, but it kind of puts me off when they're not PAL editions. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like pricing myself or taking myself out of a potential market. But uh, it puts me off a little bit. Anyway, the thing I picked up is this pretty hefty Maui plushie. This is official Disney. You can tell by the tag right here. Um, I paid a pound for it. And, and this thing's selling for like 20 quid, I think, on eBay. So I'm going to stick it up for 20 quid, see if it goes. Uh, but this thing is hefty, man. It's beasty. My daughter actually loved it when I brought it home. But we can't be keeping everything. So yeah, hopefully about 20 quid in this. We'll see. And that is everything we picked up to try and sell or trade. Not too bad. I'm quite happy with everything. Um, but let's get into the stuff I picked up for the collection. Now, I picked up a little stack of PS2 games. If you guys have been watching the channel a while, you know I'm a sucker for the PS2 and just love picking up these random, like, cheap games. Uh, so the first one I picked up is this Serious Sam. It looks kind of cool. I like the cover art on it. Uh, yeah, I paid, like, £1.50, I think. £2, not sure. But, yeah. Not too bad. Now the next game I can't believe I don't have in my collection. I used to have it, but I gave it away to a subscriber, Matt, because his son was after it, and he'd wanted we done sort of a little bit of a trade. And um, that is Need for Speed Underground 2. What a game! What a soundtrack! Uh, great to add this back into the collection. It's like a ten pound game. I think I paid two quid for it. So yeah, great to add this back in. Now the next one I'm pretty sure I have, but I'm not a hundred percent. So once I'm unpacked a little bit more. And I've got it already, I'll, I'll trade it or flog it on. But it is Canis, Canum, Edit or Bully. Uh, what a game this is. Um, I'm pretty sure I have it, but I didn't want to leave it behind just in case. It's like a £6 game. And the last one, I just like the cover art on it. It looks a little bit of me. And it is Eternal Ring. Don't think it's got a great deal of value. Definitely don't have it. Looks kind of cool. Not really sure. Let me know, guys, if you played it and if it's any good. But yeah, great to pick PS2 games up. For the collection so the next game i bought off my boy nicky uh, he was going to trade it into cex so i just said i'd pay the voucher price in cash and that game is resident evil director's cut uh, what a cracking game great to have this in the collection um, after operation n64 i have some series of games that i want to start collecting and resident evil is one of them so great to chalk one off a uh, very cool game cheers nicky so that is everything we picked up this week pretty happy with what i found uh, hopefully some of this stuff will sell got stuff to trade in so we can start building that fun back up and pick up n64 games again but yeah like i said if you want that steel book let me know in the comments below and if you're enjoying this series please let me know by smashing that like button consider subscribing to the channel and as always be rad stay rad and i'll see you in the next one peace